Hi guys, somebody's requested that I show how I film and edit my nail videos using my iPhone so I thought that maybe some of you might find this helpful. Um, so I'm not sure how to do it on Android but on an iPhone you download the iMovie app from the App Store and that's free. And I go into the app and then I click add and that's going to create a new project. I click on movie and then I've got to add the clips. After I've already finished filming then I have to add the clips what I want to use in the movie or the video as well as a couple of photos for the end. So I just need to choose from the ones that I've got. So embarrassing my camera roll is so full of nail, nail photos it's really crazy. And that just comes down onto the app. As you can see, it's like 27 minutes long. So the first thing I do, I'll go right, right back to the start and I'll take away the sound. So I click on it and then go to the little volume thing and then turn that down. You will need to turn the volume down on each of the individual clips because otherwise when you're re-watching it back, you'll hear um, all the, all the background noise coming through the video as well. If you speed it up, you'll hear it like little chipmunks. So it's best to just get rid of that straight away so you don't forget. Next, I wanted to zoom the video in. So I click on the clip down the bottom there and make that be highlighted yellow. And then click on the little magnifying glass to zoom that video in. That'll get rid of um, the boxes that the camera is balancing on off to the side. Then my aim is to make the video as short as possible and cut out all the bits that you don't want to see. I then scroll across to exactly right before I'm about to apply the primer here and I get that right at the right spot. I click the little scissor icon, split it and then delete what's before the split. I decided that I wanted to make this part here when I was applying the primer, I wanted that to be double the speed. I scrolled across to where I wanted the double speed to end and then I clicked split again. Now to speed it up, I highlight the clip and then I press the little, the little clock icon and you can only do a maximum of twice the speed on this. If you wanted to make it go faster, then you'd have to save the video and then go back into start a new video and add it in like that, if that makes sense. To add a transition in between the clips, you push that little line that's in between the two of them, and then you have a choice of a few that you can do. I always do the last one, but I double tap if you tap it once, it will be a black transition and if you tap it twice, it'll be a white transition. I always seem to like the white ones. Here down the bottom, you can also choose how long you want the transitions to go for. Most of the time, I always just do half a second. I usually only add the transitions in when I'm completely changing from one step to the next. Now because I want the video not to be so boring and I want it to be as short as possible, I like to cut out every single bit that I feel I'm not doing something on camera. So that includes picking up the new acrylic book. So I always just scroll across really slowly until I notice where there's sort of not much happening on the screen and at that point then I want to delete that little section. And it's amazing, all of these little bits that you can cut out, it really can cut down the time that your video is going to go for. And I don't really find that it's that noticeable if you make all of these little cuts. I guess you can, if you really watch out for them and go back through my old videos, you'll see in between where I pick up the balls, where I've cut out all those bits.
Now if you look here where I was up to the middle finger, I noticed that it was quite far down into the corner and I wanted to bring that as close to the centre of the screen as possible so I highlighted it again and tapped on the little zoom button up in the top right hand corner and then I just zoomed that in to move it up and over into the centre. And here I'm just showing you how close you can actually zoom in. I find that you get better quality if you zoom in while editing rather than zooming in while you're filming the video. Where I've added photos at the end, I like the video to sort of pan over the photos. So I click on the photo and the top icon, I have to pinch it to where I want it to start and then where I'm happy with where the panning is going to start and then I click on the next little arrow down and then that will make me pin tell me to pinch it to where I want it to end and so uh, this one I want to zoom or pan on down so I did that and then I'll go back and show you how it's going to look Now if you want to add some text on the video, you just click on the little T and the text that you choose is going to go for the entire clip. So if you want it to only go for a short amount of time and you've got a really big clip, then you're going to have to split it before you add the text. And then there's a few different ones that you can choose and you can do it in the center or lower. I will do lower and I'll just show you how I just write my Instagram name on here. This is really handy if you're doing just subtitles or something, if you're not doing a voiceover, but I'll show you how to do a voiceover in a minute. And yes, it is ridiculously hard for me to do anything with nails of this length. As you can see, I make a ton of typos, but that's okay, I get there in the end. Now I've decided that I wanted to make a couple of um, spots in the video to be more than double the speed so I need to go ahead and save the video so that I can make a new video. So I just click done then export and save video and then I want to save it in HD um, 1080 and this will take about oh, maybe five minutes or so to save because at this point the video is about 11 minutes long. Now once it's finished saving, it tells me that it was um, exported to the camera roll or something. So then I go back into iMovie and then I create a whole new video. I need to add that most recent clip that we just saved to the camera roll. I don't need to worry about all the other ones because they're already edited and in the video. And so now I'll be able to speed up the bits where I want to make them four times the speed. To add a photo for the title of the video, I just press the plus button and then go to photos and then all and then I can just pick whichever one I want. Then I'll quickly add some text like I showed you before by clicking the little T down the bottom. Usually the last bit of editing that I do is to add the voiceover so I just click the little plus button and then voiceover and then it comes up and it counts down 3, 2, 1 and you're able to review it or delete it or accept the recording. Also if you find that the voiceover doesn't quite line up with the video you can press and hold and then drag that little um, the little voice recording around to wherever it is that you want it to go.
Also, if you make a mistake, you don't need to stop and start. You can actually trim the um, little the voice clip. So you just have to click on it and make sure that the um, the sound is what's highlighted and then you can click cut and then split that and then delete the bit that you don't want to be there. Last but not least, I like to add some music to the video and so I click on the plus and then audio and then if you have any other music that's saved to your phone, you, you will find it in one of these other things but I'll just click on theme music and then I'll just add that to the video. Usually the volume is okay but it is important to go and check that to make sure that your voice can be heard over the audio, however it does usually cut in and out itself. I would then re-watch the whole video and make sure that I'm 100% happy with it and then I'll save it like I showed you how to do before in HD, save it to the camera roll and then upload it however you like to. So I hope you found this helpful. I'm really terrible at explaining things really. So if you have any questions, just leave them below and I will get back to you. Also keep a lookout for a new video coming out of my nails as well as the nails that you just saw me editing the video for. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Here are a couple of pictures of how I just balance my phone on a couple of different objects. And it's very, very easy to do, very basic and it works. So thanks for watching guys. Bye.